Okay, hi guys, welcome to my complete Blu-ray collection. This is going to be part one. This is going to be the standard Blu-rays, which I prepared here. I'm going to do a part two, which will be the box sets and the TV shows, and then a part three, which will be my still books, which will probably be the shortest one. So I'm going to get straight into this, because I want to try and do it in under 20 minutes, which is what my camera will allow, and I don't want to sort of do it in a few parts. So I'm going to get straight into it. And uh, yeah, please leave any comments down below. And uh, yeah, we'd really appreciate you giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. So let's get into this. First one is Godzilla, the remake. Really enjoyed that. The Witch, great original horror film. Not liked by all. 2012, great disaster movie. The Patriot, one of my favourite Mel Gibson films. The Raid 1 and 2, two great martial arts action movies from Indonesia. Chef, which the first time I watched it, I didn't enjoy that much, but the second or the third time I started to enjoy it more, and I think it's a really good film. Iron Man 1 and 2. Iron Man 2 gets a lot of hate. I enjoy it. Don't like the third one, though. Fight Club. What more can I say? Great film. Zodiac with this really nice slip. It's one I've only seen it once, so I did enjoy it. I'm going to have to revisit it. The Goonies. Classic coming-of-age movie. Krampus. Uh, you know, a Christmas movie with a twist, a bit of horror there. Goon, I actually just saw the sequel on Netflix. Not as good as the original, but still a good film. American Sniper, great Clint Eastwood directed movie, enjoyed that. Bradley Cooper. Oh, and these two are great films by uh, Clint Eastwood. Flags of Our Fathers and Letters of Iwo Jima, two great war films. Jersey Boys, definitely underrated Clint Eastwood directed movie in my opinion. Really enjoy that. Unforgiven, great western. The Gift, really good thriller. Bridge of Spies, this is an amazing film. Tom Hanks and uh, Steven Spielberg once again. Then you can never go wrong with those two. Up, Wally. I've mixed my Disney's Beauty and the Beast with this limited edition slip. Frozen. All these come with a limited edition slip. The Jungle Book. The Jungle Book, the, the live action with this nice slip. The Little Mermaid. The Lion King. Wreck-It Ralph. Love these slip covers. Cars 2. Still haven't seen it. I got it free with the Disney points and haven't watched it. Inside Out. Finding Nemo and Finding Dory. Enjoy both of them, but Finding Nemo is way better. Monsters Inc. Ratatouille, my all time favourite Disney movie. How to Train Your Dragon 1 and 2. Liked both of them, but the original is the best. The Nice Guys, really good buddy cop movie. District 9, one of my favourite sci fi's ever. Really good film. Possession, great horror film, haven't seen the sequel. 28 days later, I have got 28 hours later, oh, oh no this is 28 days later, I've got 28 weeks later somewhere, sorry. Lord of the Flies, my only Criterion edition, really nice edition, love that film. Edward Scissorhands and Sleepy Hollow, Tim Burton all the way, and Johnny Depp. Okay, Pirates of the Caribbean, the only two that are worth anything, the first and the second. Seen the third and the fourth, didn't like it. Fifth, not even going to watch it. Enemy, very strange film, I have to revisit it. Didn't really like it the first time. Kong, Skull Island, really good addition to the King Kong franchise. Okay. Oh, well, I've lost one here. Ip Man 2 and 3, I don't know whether, I don't know where I put Ip Man 1, but a really good trilogy. Must be around here somewhere. I just took them off the shelf. <coughs> Willy nilly. Okay, Lost City of Z, a really good film. It blew me away. Wasn't expecting it. Frozen, this is the thriller, not the Disney movie. Really good. Low budget movie. Captain Phillips, could never go wrong with Tom Hanks. Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2, I enjoy the original a lot more than the sequel. Killing them softly, way underrated Brad Pitt movie. Jack the Giant Slayer, yeah, it's good. Don't know if I should have in my collection though. I've got all these mixed up. I don't know where it is. This is uh, 300 Rise of an Empire. I have got. Oh no, I've got 300 on DVD. Sucker Punch. 
guilty pleasure, but I shouldn't really call it that because I think it's a really good film. It just gets too much hate. The Mummy trilogy, really good. I even enjoyed the third. Catch Me If You Can, great film. Once again, Tom Hanks. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Hook. Jaws, amazing film. Lincoln, I really enjoy it. Daniel Day-Lewis. The Wolf of Wall Street, one of my favourite films. Blade Runner, The Final Cut, Don't Shoot Me, I don't like Blade Runner, I've tried to watch it over and over, I just can't get into it. Gladiator, amazing soundtrack, epic film. The Martian, really funny, enjoyed this. Prometheus, I think it's a good instalment in the franchise. Robin Hood, the Russell Crowe version, yeah it's okay. Crimson Tide, great, great war film. The Night Before Christmas, one of my favourite films. After Earth, it's not as bad as they say. It's not good, but not as bad as they say. Split, really good. Another film that blew me away last year. Really enjoyed that. Cape Fear, one of the best, if not the best, remake ever made. Casino, love this film. Gangs of New York, probably my favourite Scorsese movie. Daniel Day Lewis is amazing. Goodfellas, just like Casino, a great mafia gangster movie. Hugo, beautiful movie by Scorsese. The Departed, another amazing film by him. Raging Bull with Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci, great to see them in a different sort of film, really enjoyed that. Shutter Island, yeah it's good, but not my favourite Scorsese movie. Silence, I have to revisit, I've seen it once but it's very long, can get a bit tedious at times. And Taxi Driver, what can I say about that, classic Scorsese. Okay, Planet of the Apes, the first two in the new trilogy, have seen the third one in the cinema so we'll have to pick it up, enjoy all three of those movies. Into the Wild, great movie. In the Line of Fire, Wolfgang Peterson, Clint Eastwood in that. Classic. San Andreas, another disaster movie. Bit out there, but it's still good. The Hangover, the first one's the only one, one worth having. Starsky and Hutch, guilty pleasure, love this movie. Drag Me to Hell, it's a great, great horror film. I'm really surprised by that. The Evil Dead, the original, good one, but it's not from my era, so I'm not don't go crazy over it. Let Me In, which is the the reboot or the remake of Let the One, the Right One In, the Swedish film, which I have got around here somewhere. Cell Two One One, Spanish film, really good. Julia's Eyes, another Spanish horror. That's really good horror film. If you haven't seen that? Check it out. To Kill a Mockingbird. Mud. Great Matthew McConaughey movie. Take Shelter, great Michael Shannon movie, love that. Interstellar, really good film, but I still don't understand the end. I've seen it three times, still don't understand it. Warrior, what a great motivational movie. Troll Hunter, I think this is Norwegian creature feature. It's really good. Step Brothers, what can I say about that? An amazing comedy, I can watch this over and over. 12 Years a Slave. Yeah, it's good, but they just all seem to be the same to me, all these slave movies. Foxcatcher, great film, and Moneyball by the director, Bennett Miller. Really enjoy that director. All Quiet on the Western Front, classic war film. Sin City 2, didn't enjoy it that much. I have got Sin City 1 on DVD, really good film. Deadpool, good, but overrated in my opinion. Cold Mountain, an amazing film. It Follows, an original horror film which I really enjoyed, and this slipcover is really beautiful. The Purge, I haven't got the second or the third, I haven't even seen the third. Moon, great sci-fi with Sam Rockwell. Her, a really original film, uh, Joe Gwynn Phoenix and Scarlett Johansson, it's a really good one. American History X, amazing film. Donnie Darko, good cult film, cult classic. The Babadook, didn't like it the first time I watched it, but every time I watch it I like it more. Oh yeah, another Scorsese film got mixed in there. The Aviator, love this one. Angels and Demons and Da Vinci Code, both good films. Rush, an amazing Formula One movie, really enjoyed that. The Book of Eli, I love my post-apocalyptic movies, that's a good one. Birdman, yeah it's okay, but overhyped. This book probably will ruin it for me. The Revenant, love that. The book is even better. Check out the book. I Saw the Devil, a South Korean, you know, revenge flick, you know, really violent, really bloody. Love that. 
The Last Stand, Jumanji, classic, haven't seen the new one, I know it's out in cinemas, American Psycho, gotta have that, The Road, another post-apocalyptic movie that I enjoy, and The Book, once again, good, Downfall, this is a German film about the fall of Hitler, it's really, really good, The Birds, with its beautiful 50th edition, 50th anniversary edition slip, North by Northwest, Rear Window, you've got to love uh, <coughs> Hitchcock, Child's Play and Fright Night, by the, both by the same director, really enjoyed both of these, picked up Fright Night recently, Poltergeist, classic horror, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, classic cult horror, The King's Speech, amazing, love Jeffrey uh, Rush in this, Another Guilty Pleasure, Lost in Space, Apollo 13, classic space film, Point Break, amazing film, haven't seen the, the reboot or the remake, don't want to, The Hurt Locker, oh he nearly fell then, Zero Dark Thirty, good you know sort of war film but a bit long, Seven Psychopaths, doesn't get enough praise, Anchorman 1 and 2, love these comedies, gotta have those in my collection, Edge of Tomorrow, really really good film, laughed all the way through that, Manchester by the Sea, great drama, really enjoyed that one too. The Lego Movie, The Elephant Man, and the classic Hello High Water, really good blind buy that I bought a few months back. A Thin Red Line, great film, and the only film I enjoyed by Terence Malick. Last of the Mohicans, amazing soundtrack, Daniel Day-Lewis. The Theory of Everything, a really, really good performance there by the, main, by the protagonist. Centurion, it's okay. The Descent, really, really good Neil Marshall film. I've got Dog Soldiers, but on DVD. 2001 Space Odyssey, boring in my opinion. Clockwork Orange, great Kubrick film, as is Full Metal Jacket. Seven Samurai, love this film, Kurosawa. An American Wolf in, Werewolf in London, I can't believe it took me so long to see this. I really, really enjoyed it. Lawrence of Arabia and The Bridge on the River Kwai, too. Great epics there. Life of Pi, good film, gets a bit too much hate in my opinion. Mr. Turner, Timothy Spall gives a great performance. The Journey to the Centre of the Earth, classic creature feature. The book's really good too. Real Steel, can that be considered a guilty pleasure? Love that film. Battle of Los Angeles, another good one. Casablanca, classic. The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Any Given Sunday, great Oliver Stone film. Skyline, yeah, it's alright. The Magnificent Seven, the original and the remake, I enjoyed both. Django Unchained and The Hateful Eight, two of my favourite Tarantino movies. Love those two. And then I got the other ones Jackie Brown, oh, I've mixed them out there. Jackie Brown, Kill Bill 1 and 2, Pulp Fiction. Okay, The Help, Black Swan, Natalie Portman's amazing in this, glad she won the Oscar. Noah, I really enjoyed it, it does get a lot of hate. The Wrestler, what a movie. Fury, another war film, I do love my war films, that was good. <coughs> Life is Beautiful, a beautiful Italian movie. Lucy, God love Scarlett Johansson. Near Dark, really, really good, uh, 80s or 90s. Can't remember, Vampire Movie. Hansel and Gretel, another guilty pleasure of mine. Twelve Monkeys. Nightcrawler, Jake Gyllenhaal is amazing. Cabin in the Woods, really good horror film. Sinister, I've yet to see the sequel. Avatar, love this movie in the cinemas. Titanic, once again, love that in the cinema. The Grey, the film should be talked about more, I love that film. Okay, John Carpenter movies. Assault on Precinct 13, probably my favourite. Big Trouble in Little China, great film, and this is the Arrow edition. Escape from New York, another good one. The Fog, not as good as the others. Halloween, classic horror. And The Thing, another classic horror, but for other reasons. La La Land, the hype killed it for me. Good film, but just, yeah, the hype killed it. Whiplash, an amazing, amazing film. Place Beyond the Pines. Inside Lewin Davis, probably one of my least favourite Coen Brother movies, but I do have to revisit it. Tremors, great creature feature, love that. 
Wild, The Thing, the prequel, enjoyed it, I think it was good. Kick-Ass 1 and 2, the first one's a lot better than the second, but both are good. Kingsman, The Secret Service, have yet to see The Golden Circle. Gangster Squad, World War Z, now yeah, here it is, 28 weeks later, I think the first one is better. The Exorcist, classic horror, it still scares me today. Battle Royale, great Japanese movie, this is, you know, what the Hunger Games copied off. War Horse, really enjoy that one. John Wick 1 and 2, both really good. The first one is better in my opinion. The Expendables, only got the first one. They're okay. The Shallows, hype killed it for me. Home Alone, classic, and Mrs. Doubtfire. Gotta have those in my collection. Lost in Translation, Scarlett Johansson, oh my god. Dances with Wolves, love these type of movies. Gravity, really good space movie. Gremlins, classic Christmas movie. The Mist, this comes with a black and white version which is really good to watch. Unfriended, Ex Machina or Ex Machina. Braveheart, gotta have this with this really nice slip. Broken Arrow, great 90s action movie. Bone Tomahawk, whoa this blew me away. Really, really violent, yeah I love that, really good. Ghost, Everest, another film that I loved in the cinema. Oblivion. The, the ending really did get me. There it is, IP Man 1. I don't know why they're mixed up. It, have yet to see the, the remake or the reboot. Conjuring 1 and 2, both good horror movies, but the first one is a lot better. Cape Fear, the original. Cine, Cinema Paradiso, really, really good Italian film. Pacific Rim, Perfume, one of my favourite films. The Imitation Game. Gone Baby Gone and Town, great Ben Affleck, J uh, Casey Affleck movies. The Hills Have Eyes, probably the second best remake in my opinion after Cape Fear. Let the Right One In, which is the original to the American version, Let Me In. Don't Breathe, I really enjoyed this one, really, really good horror film. Evil Dead, which is the remake, which I enjoy just as much as the original. The Sea Inside, which is a great Javier Breden, Javier Breden, man, I, I can't even speak. Javier Bardem movie, but this in Spanish, obviously. You probably know him from American movies. Inherent Vice. The Master, I really enjoy this one. Tarantula, great creature feature from the 50s. Drive, what can I say about that? Ghostbusters. Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. I have got Snacks, but on DVD. really enjoy those films. Sherlock Holmes 1 and 2, both great movies. Have fun with both of those. Insidious 1, 2 and 3. have yet to see the third one. I've had it in my collection a while and I haven't got around to seeing it. Your Next, great home invasion movie. VHS, recommended by Chris Stuckman. Mm, I shouldn't have got it, I don't really enjoy it. Citizen Kane, I know it's a classic but boring as hell. The Avengers Assemble, really good uh, superhero movie where they all come together. Captain Fantastic, another great blind, blind eye that I enjoyed. The Fighter, what a movie. Train to Busan, another Korean uh, horror film, but this one is with zombies. Yeah, it's really good. Green Room, another great film that I really enjoyed, really violent. Oh, I love these sort of violent films. Star Wars The Force Awakens with this special edition Dark Side slip. I have seen The Last Jedi, I did enjoy it. And last but not least, Super 8. So there you go, those are all my movies on the standard Blu-rays. I'm going to stop this video because I don't know how much time I've got left. I've got a minute left. Woof, I did it all. Any questions, ask them down below. Sorry about my voice, I've been a bit ill. And yeah, please wait for my next uh, two videos, the second part and the third part, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Happy New Year.